Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. Rose Ward, StampersDelight.com. Grab your coffee, grab your tea, and come stamp with me. What I wanted to do today is I just got this in, so I just wanted to do a quick um, unveiling. Um, let's switch the camera. So what I just got in was the um, close to my heart items that are on our online exclusives. Since Stampin' Up! Um, got these products with the close to my heart when it closed. And Stampin' Up! is going to be doing a lot more scrapbooking starting September 4th. We have a bro brochure out there um, that's going to have a lot of uh, scrapbooking kits. So I wanted to check these out. So, and of course use them. So this I really liked. And these are on the online exclusives. But remember, it's while supplies last. So these are some die cuts for sentiments. And you get, is it one or two? No, it's one. It's very thick. I love that. Almost like a um, wood, but not a wood. So it looks like you could use this side, which has a little distressed color um, on it. And this one is pretty clean. So let's just pop one of these out. Yeah, these are thick. Oh, I like this. And you could use these for card making. That's the great part of it. I know sometimes our stamp sets don't have dies with um, sentiment cutouts. And these are great. And I think these were only like six bucks. I bought quite a few of them. Great, great idea. I love that. Okay, so the first kit, look, let's look at it. They have the... Uh, paper pack and stickers plus you, you can buy the kit with the stamps but I just wanted this for my scrapbook Sundays and I like this one because it's got a lot of cute sayings plus the camera every picture tells a story so these are yes these are stickers and many of you don't know that I do scrapbooking um, I've been doing scrapbooking for a long time um, course my first love is card making but I am what I call a I don't know quick and easy scrapbooker I don't do real intricate pages well once in a while I do but I wanted to ooh, I wanted to check these out because I have so many pictures to scrapbook that's why I started my scrapbook Sunday 101 so it would help me get that done loving that so again these are two-sided And we have these two. And of course, these little strips right here. This is just for the name, so you have that little border. This, if you didn't want, if you wanted to use this side, you could probably cut that off. And this one. Cute, 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 cute. I could see these being great for, you know, kids' birthday parties. These are still available on online exclusives. Check with your demonstrator or me if you don't have a demonstrator. So again, you can see here, it says close to my heart, and then we have a new sticker that is stamping up. All right, and then the other one I bought was this paper pack and stickers. This one, I might buy another one because I, I, I have a lot of pictures of a photo shoot of my mom and her younger sister. And I want to lay those pages out and do those. So this one is beautiful, perfect, happy, best friends, family. Oh, happy day, family. Enjoy these. Oh, yeah, this is going to, you and me, this is perfect for what I wanted, which is to um, scrapbook those photo shoot from my mom and my her sister, her younger sister. She had two more, unfortunately. They passed away, but... Anyway, that'll be for another Sunday. So let's look at the papers. Oh, gosh. These are gorgeous. These are beautiful. This is called the Secret Garden. I'm going to have to order more of this. Because that would be two pages there. These are really pretty. And, of course... If you're not into scrapbooking, you cut these up and they make beautiful cards. Just got to add the card bases. Oh, I like this one. Oh, 
Those are really pretty. Okay, and after this, I'm going back to my computer so I can order another set at least. So this would be like for a two-page layout. I do have one quick tip for you on this. If you were putting them in page protectors, which you, you are, let me just bring this up a little bit. You could do this. I know it sounds a little crazy, but you could do it without making uh, layering this onto a base of 12 by 12 um, card stock. Let's say this was your card stock. You, you see that I always, you know, cut it down and lay that on there. What you could do, be a little thin, but you're putting it in page protectors. You could take these two pieces and do a two page layout here. And then you could flip them and do a two page layout here. So when you put them in your album, you'd be able to see both sides. Make sense? So let's just take a look. I got some just random things here. So I could put pictures on this side and then flip it over and put pictures on this side. And I could actually get four pages done. That's just a quick tip. Um, you know, if you wanted to do it that way. So I hope you enjoyed the unveiling of these products that I bought. Don't forget that these are online exclusives. You can get them now. And I'll be playing with this, definitely. So I hope you enjoyed this. Until next time, keep on stamping and scrapbooking.